Alright guys, here it is. This is Rick's Plays Damascus Gear Operation Tokyo. Sorry this took so long because I was trying to get some stuff going on with Premiere and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how to do any of that yet. I'm, I'm probably going to set it for the next video. But, well, let's just get this over with because a lot of people have just been waiting to see how horrible this game is. And who am I to deny him that? So I'm just going to go ahead and, the one I'm going to do is I'm not going to start from the beginning. I'm just going to show you some select areas that are just extremely stupid. So here we go. There's two modes when you start off. This is Operation Tokyo. And this is Hero Creation. We'll get to Hero Creation in a little bit. But this, this is its own like bag of, bag of worms over here because like, because you can only get to Hero Creation after you beat a certain mission in Operation Tokyo. So, and I'll show you that mission. I'm probably not going to beat it because it's so bullshit. But let's go ahead in here. Play 33 hours. Just showing you this. And uh, this is my bot. This is my bot. And um, this is like, um, um, th this is a um, uh, SS rank um, um, suit because it's, because you can only get the parts in the SS rank um, um, DLC missions later on. But um, it's a um, the reason why I'm using this one's because it's the fastest one. Like every single piece. Uh, let me go into the dock to just show you. Um, every single piece in here is um, uh, the fastest. It, it increases your speed. Like for instance, look on the um, uh, bottom where it says speed. It just some um, goes down if you go for another one. But um, I might as well just start off with the dock. I might as well uh, because some of this stuff is just so stupid. Um. You see all these um, um all the things right on the right underneath status. Your power is like how much how much um, um it's like energy requirement uh, if you know from Armored Core. Like if you go over this, you can't even sortie. You gotta you have to make sure that your um power is underneath that um, um that benchmark right there, and that's controlled by your core, your body basically. It's not a core. It's your body basically, and um right underneath it um is armor. That's how much health points you have. The fence is just like normal. It, 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 it's a really static statistic, and I think it means like how many hits you can like shrug off, as opposed to armor, which just gives you more vitality. This is like your your defense is like your armor, like um, it's your um, resistance basically. But that's the problem is that we don't know what kind of resistance you have, because like because like see uh, if you look to the right. Underneath them, um, there's the skills, and then there's like the uh, that's that's two that's both skills. Basically, you have skills for each of these parts that um, um gives you different um, um bonuses. But and unfortunately, in this game, you don't have a way to track what bonuses your mech currently has. You can only see it if you just go over the parts, and these percentages really don't help at all. Like like this evade. Emergency evasion optimization minus four percent. That doesn't make any kind of sense. I don't know what the hell it's trying to say because, like, uh, the bad ones are in orange. So why is so? So we have an orange one that has a plus, and we have an orange one that has a minus, and it's just, and we don't have any way. That, by the way, this is the only screen you have besides some uh, coloring, and uh, your name, and also if you're trying to redo your name and you don't know how to. The how to do them. Um, um, it only works half the time to backspace. Like oh, like right now, I just clicked it and it doesn't let me backspace. But um, but just so you know, if you're trying to do them, um, um, capital space, you can only use the left shift key. I don't know why they did this, but only use the left shift key and you'll be able to capitalize. And um, let me go over to let me go over to the colors right quickly. This is for uh, this is for the body and it colors for you automatically. So, so like you see, like the secondary color right there. I can't change that, and it's just and, and you just have 19 colors, and it's just it is uh, yeah 19 colors and it's like a palette, and like and like for some of the parts, like let me go back and uh, change one of these um, let's change some of these right quickly, like um uh, this goes for the same this goes for the same deal. You can only, you can only change like one color up on this. It is really not fun to um, customize on this thing. 
Let me see, where's, where's the one? There it is. And um, let's see, what else? And then, there, and again, like, as you see on the on the my right, there's all these skills underneath them. Precise aim control, adhesive ex resistance. Adhesive resistance is like, it's basically it doesn't let you get stuck with it. Because we have, like, a lot of glue guns, I think. I, it's like it's like some kind of, um, like, if you, they shoot you with a gun, like, you get, stop, you get stuck there and you can't move. And, like, a lot of the upper bosses have this and it is bullshit because like right all the the only strategy of the upper bosses is to stick you in place either fire at you with a high laser or a satellite cannon and it is stupid so here are the legs again there's high maneuverability uh and then they had to have this shit like rare cereal what the fuck was that supposed to mean <laughs> and then there's um and there's the shoulders, and the shoulders basically just give you like additional defense. And uh, like like you see mine right here, this gives me self repair, which is the highest, uh, and five percent is the highest percent that you'll get for self repair. And this is important for making S rank uh, on most of the missions. And I'll come and I'll show you that a little bit later. But like for rest, of, all the rest of this, like it just changes your stats a little bit, and. It, it, and in all honesty, you should not be using one of these unless it gives you a bonus, like poor shock resistance. I do recommend you guys using self repair always. Always go for that. And um, depending on how much you want, like this one right here, it gives you more defense and more armor. But we don't really need that for what we're doing. And uh, I'll go over like um, where the armor is. And these are the you get a right weapon, a left weapon, and a back weapon. So. Here, to, here are some of the guns you can have. I only need one gun. This is the final rifle on here, and it gives me like a charge shot, all these kinds of things over here. But um, but yeah, you, you're trying to avoid the orange things like this. Apparently, I I, I wish I can give you more specific, um, detailed information on what not to do and what to do. But this game is so bare bones, so excruciatingly Un, un, uninformed. It doesn't let you. It doesn't tell you what to do. It doesn't tell you like what these stats means and gives you like a list like Armored Core does. You have to like kind of go. You have to like kind of figure it out as you go. And um, like we have, uh, I think that's a pistol over there. And uh, this is a. Uh, I'm going to show off this weapon a little bit later. This is a chainsaw. So it's uh, so actually like my holds you in place and you have to like literally saw through people. This is these are the power bunkers. This is a really weird looking power bunker. They have normal looking ones, but I just kept one. And these are the swords. And they're just really really basic looking. Uh, I'll show one on the I'll show you one down here. That's a sword, apparently. That's another sword. That's another sword, the goddamn Cantana. It just looks so it just so looks really, really bad. And um I'll show you some other ones on my left side because I don't have anything equipped. This is a Tommy gun. Uh, this is like a shotgun, basically. And and as you see right over here, if you have too much, and you can't, I'm a sword. You can't, I'm a go out with just this. So let me see if I can see. Re required energy to seize the maximum energy. You have to remove. You have to remove it. And up here, when you have that that letter go red, that means that you're over the limit. And let's see. This is a this is a literal bazooka, and here's their machine guns. Like the only one that you guys are probably gonna like is, is this one, which is like a huge Gatling cannon. And this is like their version of a sniper rifle. So let's go ahead and get it out, get it out of the way. And here's the back weapons. You're gonna mostly be seeing me use the satellite cannon because it is overpowered as all hell. Um, I, I'll show you like how how bad it is in, with the first mission. And here's some other. Um, um, weapons. Here's a mine layer. Here's a flamethrower. A few flamethrowers. I gotta get rid of some of those. Oh, also, you have a limit to how many par parts you can have in your garage, so you're going to be selling these a lot. Also, the only way for you to make any iron, um, that that all the way up there over the Grand Zam, that um, amount of money is how much money you have. It's E Y N. I don't know what the hell currency that is. I, I, it might be something, some kind of Japanese currency, but it's weird. Um, oh, here are missiles. 
I'll show those out. And this is what you guys are going to probably be surprised surprised by. These are the back cannons. These are my these two are my favorite back cannons. They're um, um extremely powerful. Like look up here, the attack power is all the way in the in the fifty thousands for these ones. Like you would think that this in one shot could kill a boss, but it can't. These are probably the worst. These are these are almost the worst some um, uh, things in the game because like they have so I'll show I'll show it off later but these have like the lowest amount of range of out of any of the other weapons even less than the flamethrowers and that's and that's bizarre and these are like the lasers the laser cans you probably saw in my first video we've got a few of them and what you want like like with this is probably this constant irradiation continuous irradiation all the way to level three when you're going for lasers, and um, that's because it, it lets the it lets the laser stay active for a longer period of time. Like it's a laser that that um, uh, shoots longer for for more for more continuous damage than than just a single shot usually, and that's the trade-off. Like you you you'll you'll do more damage, but you'll be stuck in one place. But that usually doesn't matter, usually. And these over here, these are overdrives, and I still do not know what they do. Like some of the bosses, like one of the final bosses uses one, and it doesn't seem to do anything besides like, because like look at this one, look at this right down here, negative ten thousand defense. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Why would you even? Why would you ever use this? It gives like negative ten thousand defense. It doesn't even. I've uh, actually tried these out, and these are like some like little gay ass wings too. And it's like um, um, they don't even increase your speed. They don't. Uh, I haven't. I, I I tried using them, but like all they do is like make you glow. And I think they're. I think it gives you a defense, but it just doesn't make any kind of sense. But uh, and, and this one has a negative on on the top of it. And I don't know what it does. And and we don't have any kind of. If you can look on the bottom, that's all the, that's all my um, um, controls right there, and I cannot see uh, get like an F information bar on any of these weapons, and it is stupid. <laughs> it is absolutely stupid. So, but I think I've I've uh, bored you guys enough. I'll um, go to the main menu. I'll also show you the shop for a second. J just before, like I want to get all the boring stuff out of the way first. So, um, um, you'll never be in here besides to buy repair kits. And, um, the repair kit, and here's the thing about repair kits, I'll talk about the S-Ranks right now. Um, the only counter for how you can get an S-Rank in the missions is how many repair kits you use. And these things, in the middle of the, in the middle of the mission, will completely restore your health. It's kind of like an Estus flask, but it's like a little bit more OP. I can't believe I made a Dark Souls reference in this damn thing. It's so stupid. Okay, let's go through some um, missions. Here's, um, as you can see, I've already S-ranked almost everything. And, um, and and here's the thing that like here's the you the no, the main story goes all the way up to S rank, and S S rank is an extra extra campaign that that was a DLC, but you get this for free on the HD edition. So. Let's see, what should I do? I think I should show you guys how OP this um, this back cannon is. So basically oh yeah, I was dead in the in the final mission basically against the I'll show I'll uh, it's against the I think it was yeah, yeah, it's the my final whatever the final boss name is. We'll we'll go we'll get to that later. But um, um basically these are some of the characters. They are not voice acted. You just get these little things up here, a little portrait. Here's Mirai, your little operator, and she is annoying. I called her a, a dumb bitch for a reason because in the beginning she she intentionally uses uh, she intentionally calls you the wrong name as a way to play with you. It's like one of those playful little little girl things she does. It is not funny. It, it, I mean because it's because it. It doesn't add to her character at all, especially later on. And um, basically, this is a one of those seek and destroy missions. You basically go around and just bust everything. And, and these um, 
these six people right here are your entire team of the division, basically. I, I'm, I might talk about the story a little bit later, but it's so messed up, you probably don't even want to know it. No, I, when I say messed up, it's just dumb. Oh, by the way, here, uh, when you, so here's the thing, you just go around, shoot things. Oh, and here's a, here's a satellite cannon. So, if you know something, if you think, um, I cannot move when I'm shooting. That's a big thing. When you're um, moving, you cannot, you cannot, um, um, you cannot shoot, and when you're um, shooting, you cannot move. And that is a bit stupid. Okay, and these are, and these big dudes are all, um, um huge, um, um, are all like the uh, bosses during the entire missions. And uh, you basically just shoot everything and you collect these little things all over the place. And if you and and this is I'm going I'm probably going to be going a lot faster than you because like it I forgot how how fast I am. But um, um another thing a thing that's good about showing this mission first is this is you're about to see the everything every single area in this game it is actually pseudo open world pseudo oh yeah and every single time someone talks it pauses the game like this and that is so distracting it is it is not cool <laughs> because because it throws you out of your rhythm and like usually they don't they don't have anything to say besides like oh I'm dying Arrgh! and it's just it's so distracting and it just doesn't help and if you're wondering why I'm cutting through these guys so quickly, it's because these are these are S rank um, bosses, not bosses, X rank goons. So they can they can barely do anything to this um, um, mech mech that I made in the S rank missions, the SS rank missions. I'm sorry. So basically, just going around shooting things. In my case, oh, you saw that you saw how big that um, explosion was, right? That's the uh, satellite cannon, and, and this is the part that doesn't make any kind of sense. I can still use the satellite cannon indoors when it's supposed to be, when it's supposed to be like um, um you're supposed to, like like look right here. It can still go through, and I'm supposed to be in like a bunker. Oh, this old fart. <laughs> oh man. So you can see how a lot of the little things about this game. Oh, well, uh, if you can't you can't count right now almost. Almost all of my team is dead by right now. You gotta get used to this. Your teammates are going to be useless. Like they will not. You cannot rely on them for anything. I think I might have um, uh, two more still alive. Yeah, two more. And like among. Um, and the problem is, is that since they're so fragile, we have um, um some missions where we have to protect them, called escort missions, and they are horrible. You, you see that? I am. Um, I just am. Um, I just completely tanked that entire um, um, laser cannon fire, and I barely got got any kind of scratch. Oh, and also, if you guys are just starting off and you want to just try this out for yourself, do not put anything into. I mean, like in the beginning, sure you can have defense because like you don't know how to play yet. But in the end, speed is the only thing you should be concerned with. That little speed counter, and if you're um, you know, th that's a little bit of a flame pool right there. And if you're in um, um, under S rank, you will, the speed will cap out at 180. I think I'm at 200 and something with this guy. And because of the, because again, because of SS rank. And um, this will only present a problem for you in a uh, hero creation, which is just apps. Uh, I'll, I'll show you uh, again. I'll, I have to show you. And uh, if you didn't see that, I went back through the uh, main area, and this is like a. Um, this is the secondary place you get. The, the first place I went to is the first two areas you unlock in the um, E-Class missions or something like that. But um, this is the secondary area. Oh. oh, and we're almost completely out of teammates. And again, this is why I said like for s rank missions, you need to have self-repair because because with self-repair, you don't have to do them on any kind of repair kits. And if you do no repair kits, that almost guarantees that you'll have an S rank at the end of the um, whole entire battle. So, 
So let's see, what else is there? Oh no, all these little um, robots around here are all just you can you can make you can make them in different ways, but uh, but the idea is that this is a loot shooter, and like everything you shoot off of them is what you can put on your mech. Oh, I forgot to tell you something else about this satellite cannon I'm doing. It's I think it's one of the only laser weapons that can actually clear out mines, and that's why it's so important for them um, uh, for escort missions, because like we got people laying mines and having like some of the escorts like walking right into them blindly. And you cannot tell them to stay anywhere. They'll just keep you just keep going forward no matter what you do. And I'll show you one of them a little bit later. I got I, I should be making a list but I'm just doing this by ear. By ear I just want to like just show because this is like the only extermination mission I'm going to show you. The rest of them are all going to be all bullshit. Because this is the basically this uh, one mission is basically the only one of the only things you'll be doing the entire time. And notice how I'm doing it with just nothing but a rifle and a satellite cannon. I'm barely even using the satellite cannon for that for that fact. I'm just rolling around shooting things. And when I want to, I can just do that. And like the um, and the thing about the satellite cannons is that is that they're among extremely dumb to fight against especially for the final boss but I'll show you but I'll show you like how to get around that because it took a while for me to it took me not caring nor me for me to figure out how to do it let's see what else is there um oh and now we're in hell by the way apparently hell is right underneath Tokyo who knew <laughs> so yeah that's the um, this is the final area that you unlock but it, for those of you who, who think of um, um, in a, of a large, who want a large, um, uh, interconnected uh, armored core world, this would be this is basically what you would get from um, from doing it. And in all honesty, I am not a fan of it unless like each and every single one of these little enemies were were extremely interesting to fight because these guys all they do is just swarm you and just and just be extremely stupid and that's all they know how to do oh and the last guy just died by the way I'm by myself and I've barely hit the red zone I literally just walked by that guy who spammed a giant fucking laser at me and all these little things I'm gonna have to go to the shop it you're gonna have to show to see like some of the bullshit because like every single time you you go on one of these missions these extermination ones you're going to be you're going to be completely clearing out your um your stuff. And it's just dumb. I think there is an automatic um, um cell tool, but I don't recommend it because some of the because some of these things are actually really good. So let's see. Um, that guy's using a that guy's using a power bunker on me, and it's barely even scratching me. Man, I just stood in the middle of that one and just fired off. Hello. And at the bottom right, we'll see, you'll see how many you got left. And this is everyone. And this is just a huge pile of mine layers. And I think I missed someone. Uh-oh. <laughs> but, like, it's not that bad. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know where they are. It's, um... Every single time you go, you never think to go to your right on this one over here. See? You never think to do this. And we're done. Yep. Oh, and by the way, they're going to be um, uh, drinking after this. And the little boy... Yeah, this little boy, he gets drunk on... I think apple juice, I think. <laughs> that was a joke in the um, hero collection. Uh, hero creation. Oh, yeah, and this is the um, Operation Wolf's Determination. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I forgot about this! I forgot! Uh, this is why I, I call her a dummy, because she's so... Look at this! 
look at this. Someone wrote this down on a piece of paper and said, oh, this is great character dialogue. Idiot, idiot, idiot. <laughs> oh, man. And this is just so dumb. <laughs> Very well. All right. And I just S ranked that one. So let's just go to mission receive. I'm going to show you guys something else. This is the only other thing that I'm um, Oh, oh, I get to show you the boss boss monsters next. I'll I'll just completely um, um I'll completely show you how the boss monsters work with just this one. And uh, this girl, you'll see her a little bit later. You will not like this girl, by the way. Just because she's an escort and I'll show you just how Oh. Now she's saying it idiot while hiccuping and she's uh drunk. And this guy's and this guy's sleeping. And this guy literally this is the the buoy, he's doing this because he drunk apple juice apparently. Let that sink into your head. Like this is this is how anime this show this this game is. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Espa Espa <laughs> Oh well. Yeah, basically basically everyone is drunk, so it's just the three of us. Um just a colonel and um Mr. Grumpy over here. Yeah, yeah, basically basically this guy is basically I'm on um, boxes everyone up. He he traps you in there with them um with the big monsters. And uh, the purple guy Lich is like your main rival and he's just the worst. Yeah, this guy, he is the worst. Yeah. He is so stupid. Uh, he's going to be like like your first um um major boss fight. And, and this one, uh, as you see, there's no one else in the streets. You're going to be going around looking to um, to um, shoot the giant monsters. See, like right here. It's the Raphael. It's the Raphael. And this guy. And, and you see this little thing over here? That little marker on top of my... Um, um, on top of my um, uh, thing? That means that I'm... Uh, I'm um, getting... Uh, that's an acid thing. Like, like we have acid uh, bullets in this thing. And that's the Raphael. I, I know you didn't get to see him that much, but he's bas basically in one of the earlier missions. You get to pilot like the lower version of that. Then you fight him, and then like you, and then like he becomes a rage. Oh, I didn't even talk about the story that much. Maybe I should talk about the story a little bit more, more than gameplay mechanics, because that'll help you understand just how dumb this is. Where is it? Alright. That's the Rides and Glaive. Oh, and by the way, you see how, how like they all die? It's all because they just stand right in front of the guy and shoot like this. Oh, and this is like me trying to, trying to move and shoot. Alright, let's just zoom on out of here. This area is clear. And let's see what else. I have to remind myself to talk about the little small little story, the little sad story that this that this thing has. Here we go. Here's another one, and this is the Thanatos. Oh, and he's dead. I thought I was dead. Yeah, I don't even need to. I don't even need to aim. You just gotta like get close to it with the with the satellite cannon. I might, I might try to uh, change it up a little bit after this, because I'm pretty sure you guys are probably bored at, of me and I'm just absolutely owning everything in one hit. So, oh, oh and all the way. Oh, by the way, you are boxed in. You cannot touch this. And like you, you, and and these are like the main bosses of the entire game. This is a boss rush, basically. And uh, I'm not going to touch that. Because I already got better equipment, but the problem with that is, is that I'm a, they are all the bosses are nothing but larger versions of of the um, basically big mechs, and that's why it gets dull extremely fast. Because cause I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to go like, oh, everything we don't need to we don't need to um, spend this much on um, uh, character animations. Oh, now it's a little bit of a screen. Um, 
Oh, oh and this guy's just laying bombs. <laughs> and those are all the bosses, everyone. Except for the final boss. Yep. Yeah, I'll show you one more thing before this is out. Uh, it um no, I'm gonna have to show you a few more things, actually. Um, this is I'll just go straight to the final boss. Let's, uh, this is the only other thing that you'll probably be doing is some um, arena matches. Yeah, arena matches in a game like this. Fancy that. Oh, and this guy still doesn't like me apparently, so fuck him. Yeah. So basically, this is it, and he's just firing his little laser at me. Oh, and, oh, and there was a tournament, and there was like some, and every single, t and that's the problem with this. Every single time he talks, it stops. Like, think about, now, I mean, I know what they're trying to do. This is like the Armor Core, like, the pilot was talking to you in Armor Core 4 every single time, like, he's about to die. Like, I'm, um, Berlioz and all that kind of stuff. But every single time they do it, the game pauses, and I, and you have to, you have to basically press a button to get out of it. Yeah, this is the difference. I don't care. That's the difference. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you just. Yeah, you can't beat me. Now shut up. Okay. And also, you get you get little um, um prizes going around here. I, I'm I'm just going to go ahead and finish out the S rank. Because you guys got to see this. This is the mission you have to beat in order to get to hero creation. And this... So so look at uh, so look right here. This is your final mission. Please serve as an examiner and guard for new candidates seeking to enlist in Freya's anti-raids 4th division. Okay, so this is the fourth of the... This is the last one I'm going to show you in the S rank. But I'm going to try to... Show you some of the other bullshit ones, but I'll I'll, I'll be talking about like the story a little bit more then, because because I, I need like the back weapon in order to do this. All right, because basically I am protecting these guys. Oh, oh, oh remember how I said you're going to hate this bitch? This is why you're going to hate her, because she's this stupid. So basically, you have to protect them for five minutes, and they're going to go in completely different direction. Uh, not right now, if you know how to do it, because these guys are going to respawn. That's the whole entire thing. Yeah, and see how they're going, how she's going somewhere else. You have to keep track of, you have to keep track of both of them at the same time, or else, because they're, I don't know what their directions are what their programming is but like they are uh, like see this this girl is high boosting away and she's going all the way over here and I have to keep track of her and um the only way I was able to do this oh god dang it <laughs> and the only way I was able to oh dang shut up <laughs> and the only way I was able to do this was was with missiles basically Cause like, look, she she's almost already dead, and um, Tweedledee over here is is already um, and and I and I I, I can't um uh, block them anywhere either because they're both going in different directions, and she's about to die. So is this girl. But why is she over here? Why are you over here? Go somewhere else. Please, go somewhere else. <laughs> she, oh, uh-oh. Uh, she, she's going to die. She's going to die. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> yeah. So, this is going to be your life for a while. <laughs> if you're trying to get to hero creation. I don't remember how I did this. I, I think the only way I was able to do this was um, um I had to use missiles in order to um, um in order to, in order to fire them. So as soon as I get on the screen, like I blow away the guys. But it is it's a stupid mission, and I'll, I'll show you something else instead because I I don't feel like doing it. So that's a new win. That's the 
that's a fun grind to go through in order to get to the next rank. And uh, the SS rank, you're basically going through. You're basically going. You're basically a mercenary, as opposed to being part of a division, and you're being set up by, by Counselor Atagasuma. Atagasuma. <laughs> Um, basically, Atagasuma, in order for him to steal your genes, basically. <laughs> and that's basically what, what he wants. He wants your genes. And uh, let's see. Basically, you're fighting against, like, your allies in most of this. And let's see. Um, I'll show you the second to last. This is the second to last boss. You'll probably see me fail this one, too, because I, uh, I really don't care. Oh, look at this! <laughs> look at him! Look at this man! Woo! <laughs> oh, just look at this guy. Bring in the gear system. The gears. And look at this. Freaking C Viper wannabe. <laughs> I don't get... <laughs> oh, oh, this is one of your new partners later on. She's a... She's a little. How, what what do I call this girl? Like she she's like this little genius subtype, like the like you know like in uh, Muff Love that little girl that's an Esper. That's that's like what she's supposed to be. And again, you got her. Nah, da, you gotta enjoy yourself. And then and let's see. Basically, oh wow. <laughs> well, that's good. That's a good way to show like how, uh, like this is like the final, the final second to final boss, so it's not really that bad. So, basically the best way to do this, uh, Owen, Owen, you you will not have my back weapon in this in this mission. I you don't you don't get until you defeat defeat him in the next mission. Let me see if I can. Um, yeah, and that's all. That's what you gotta do. Shut up. Oh wait, whoops. Oh. <laughs> that's a good way to That's a good show of inspiration on how on how some of Uh I mean the reason why I waited so long is so you guys can see me lose. So I'm fine with this. It's you should be seeing this. I mean, you should be seeing like how um, BS this final these final bosses are. I might go back and try to beat it, but basically this is the final the final final boss. Uh the second to final final boss. You need to see the final boss of hero creation. And um basically you beat him and he ain't well damn <laughs> he really, holy shit, he really <laughs> Okay, this guy Feels homoerotic as hell. <laughs> he is just really. I've released the limiters. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh, yes, and this guy is bullshit. You got. You do not fight him. You run. By the way, oh wait, 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 wait! This is bad. I, I did a bad. <laughs> this that was the first time you ever saw me use a health pack because of this mission. You're trying to go. You're trying to like. Oh wait! Whoa! 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 Hey yo! Yeah, you try. You, you gotta try to get the little ones out of the way first because they're stupid. And the bigger ones have like the have like the one hit lasers on them, so it's not really fun. Oh, see? Like that. <laughs> and that's Akatsugama. Oh man. I, I don't feel like trying to trying to beat them in front of you guys. I don't feel like I'm like maybe I should um uh let's see. I'll try one more time, but I But basically how I beat him without using any kind of repair kits is beyond me. Yeah, like, oh, well, that was fast. Okay, let me just let me just go ahead and just tell you this right now. The only way 
I beat these guys was because they bugged out. Yeah, like literally the final boss bugged out in the middle of the match and sometimes they no longer move. And that's the only way, and that's like most of the, most of the time, that's how I was able to beat them. Like right there! He's stuck! He's stuck! Oh my god! Is he still stuck? Oh my god, he might be stuck. He might be stuck. He might be stuck. L let me see, let me see. Oh my god, on camera! On camera, he's stuck! <laughs> The only problem is that I gotta keep away from the, from the uh, other ones too. But I think he might be stuck. Oh, um, basically this this maneuver you're gonna be using this a lot. You're gonna be using this a lot because you're gonna be trying to get away from everyone because you cannot buff out these laser these laser attacks. You cannot buff out a back weapon. I learned that the hard way. You have to continuously, like on camera, I'm showing you how shit the final, final, final boss is. <laughs> the coding in this game is abysmal. Whoa, oh, at least the, at least the little guys are starting to show up to protect him. But basically, yeah, he's more than halfway down. I might, this might be. Might be on camera showing you how buggy this game is, and how bullshit it is to beat to beat one of the final bosses. Oh, oh, the goddamn it! <laughs> yeah, let's see. I think he's almost dead. There we go. <laughs> That was on camera! <laughs> oh man, that I could not have planned that to be more perfect. I could not have planned that. <laughs> oh man, and that's basically how you beat all of the final bosses. That uh, you have to literally circum circumvent the entire map, keep them away from you. And just fire fire something OP at them every single once in a while. Yeah. Man, this guy is trying to be Senator Armstrong, but he's failing hard just because of his fucking face. <laughs> oh. Oh, he, he just committed completely he just committed Sudoku on this on his in his mech. Oh wow, 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 wow. Okay, one week after his suicide. May have been I haven't really read this, so I'm so I'm just as means I don't just have to agree. Uh Okay. Okay. Okay, so he was so he was trying to be McGinnis. He was trying to put his life on the line to change a corrupt organization. Mobile. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and by the way, I should probably mention this right now. The Rage are the, are the giant robots that are outside that destroy the world. While the Gears are the ones trying to fight the Rage that are controlled by humans. I should probably have said that in the beginning. Well, if you lasted this long, you probably deserve to know that's <laughs> that very simple, simple fact. Oh wow, and this. <laughs> oh, by the way, I should probably n mention this is the woman who like created like the gears and the rage, and she's like the in the mat uh, the um, final final person. I'm guess I'm guessing she's going to be she's going to show up in a second game. Yes, there's going to be a second game to this bullshit. But basically, I can't believe they actually had the gall to say, "Oh, by the way, we're not done yet. This is not just the we are about to make another game <laughs> after all of this." I, I I'm sorry. I cannot believe it be believe, I cannot imagine anyone watching this right now and going, like, "Oh, how cool. How cool. They're going to make some more." I'm pretty sure they're going to be laughing their ass off. And I hope they are. 
Mjolnir. Trinus. Okay. Let's take a look at this core over here, actually. I think I I just got something new I didn't have before. Mjolnir. Is this a Mjolnir? Yeah, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I worked so hard for. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. What does it have based on it? It just has... All it has is... Wow, it doesn't even... Compared to this, it's... Oh, it just has a lot of resistance. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll be a fun thing to have in the, in the thing. We already had like a Noyer head. Oh, and by the way, there's another achievement in here besides S-ranking everything. You have to, um... This is a collect them all game. Yeah, and I only have like 64% of every single weapon ever. And you basically... And they're basically telling you, oh, you gotta 100% everything. You have to get every single, single piece. And I'm guessing the Manolier, me, uh, it, literally me, old near, is the final pieces that I'm missing. Cause I don't even have to have the arms, the shoulders, or the legs. And I really don't, I really don't see myself trying to do that because it's. <sighs> it's <is> so messed up. <laughs> I mean, like, because uh, you have to literally go out there constantly into a random number generator and continuously gun down hundreds and hundreds of them um, things in order to try to get the stuff. Okay, let me let me show you some of the other weapons at least. I should probably show you. This is enhanced range. Uh, let me try and get one one with enhanced range. Induce mine explode. Increased missiles. I'm going to show you like one with the highest range I got. This I might as well. If that's the case, I might as well just use these. And if and if I'm going to be, I've already shown you this, so I might as well show you the gun, the gunplay, and a little bit of that, um, a little bit of blade action. I'm not. Let's um. Oh, I should I, I should also mention. Oh, here's some more power bunkers just to, just so you guys can see it. Um, if you want to know, like combination is just how many swings you got, and um, what you want with a, with your with your um, laser weapons. Uh, no, not your laser weapons. Your um, your sword is electric attack because that stuns them. So that's so that's a big thing. Let me just change the color on this one. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try to find something else while I defend. No, I shouldn't defend. I hope. Let's range. Final annihilation. Raphael. Alternative to rage. Final annihilation. Oh, here we go. The final. The final battle. I need my thing for. So. I should. I just want something simple. All right, let me just go ahead and just do this. Um, yeah, you're basically just going to. An, this is another extermination mission, and I'm just going to show off some more of the weapon types. The the shoulder weapons don't do anything. So here's the. This is the only weapon you can move while, sort of move while shooting. This is probably going to be a favorite for some of you guys. Oh, and this is the, this is the weapon. Oh, and this is the, <laughs> do you guys see that? Oh, okay. Do you guys see that? This, oh, this is not showing, giving you guys a good impression on how shit this is. <laughs> I think it's giving you sort of an impression, but like that's how far the range is on these um, uh, cannons, and that's with enhanced range. Oh, uh, and now I'm guessing you're you're starting to see the problem with the with the Gatling guns. 
Yeah, and she's dead. You're you're only facing one direction. I can probably just get through by just spamming this. Yeah, and that's just three hits for that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can see that's that's why you never use the cannon. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. This is why this is why I prefer the just a rifle. You can charge the rifle too, I didn't do that because I didn't need to. And you do not charge the damn weapon. Oh and, oh and, um Yeah, as you can see like every around every single corner you got people spamming the giant freaking laser beams. Also, then show you guys the. There's three types of damages in this in this weapon, no, not in this weapon in this game, and that's a laser, flame, and physical. The problem is that they never taught you. They, I don't think that they have any kind of particular purpose. And, and I mean, like they have damages and resistances, but they don't have any. I think I just headbutted that guy and killed him. Fierce battle. Quotations. Oh yeah. See, this is a good this is a good point. I have to um, go to the dock now and and just start selling everything. Yeah, because you can only have um, two hundred you can only have two hundred pieces in your in your stock. So yeah, that's all this is another part. Uh, that you're just going to have to just get used to. I'm just lucky because I know that my um, linguista, linguista, my linguista um, um, parts are like the lowest. Uh, they're they're just they're the fastest, but they're the lowest of all of them. Um, lowest defense of every single web of every single um, um, part. So. I know I don't. I know I. I know I don't need to keep these, and I don't need to keep anything else below them. And these, and if you can't tell, they rank them based on their defense, not their armor. So don't fall for that trap, thinking that defense is everything. Hell no! You cannot. You cannot buff out some of this shit. You have to. You have to be able to, to actively dodge. All the time. So let's see. Yeah, a lot of these can go too. Like uh, you'll you'll be seeing a lot of these um, chainsaws later on. Yeah, see how many chainsaws? Almost every single one of the enemies from um, at this current point use use chainsaws. And you just have to just get rid of a lot of stuff. Because again, this is a loot shooter, and this is what loot shooters do. They give you a lot of empty choices. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll show you guys the um, rad ass laser. I I'll show you another laser one. Let's see. Direct. I probably I need to show you guys constant. I'll use the one with continuous irradiation. And uh, let's see what other. I already showed you like the. Um, the only thing I'm not, I, I, I haven't showed you is the pile bunker, but I might as well because because that's the only one. Oh no no no! There's one. There's a gun I haven't showed you. Um, which is the bazookas. Let's see. Um, piercing round. Cause like the. Yeah, that that looks good. Let's go. Let's just go with that. Um, let's see. What else do you guys need to see? Oh, reinforcing the aim sound that you break not with pilots. Yeah, this is another one that's extremely fun. Yeah, you have to protect these three guys for um, five minutes, and I'll 
I'll be stuck in this mission for a little bit so I, so I can show you how, how dumb they are. But I know I'm going to lose because I, cause I already know like what the weapons are. This is the... This is how... This is the um, uh, laser... This is the... Um, uh, by the way, this is the... See how, see how I meant like uh, constant continuous radiation? And this is the... That's why I like some of my other, that's why I like some of my other um, guns more because they don't overheat as much. Oh, there, there's no ammo in this game. They're they're just some um, uh, refill bars at the bottom. And the only way you can get past this, oh damn, uh, I oh shit, <laughs> he's he's not gonna, yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna survive that long. They're not gonna survive that long. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if I should show you this. Uh, I'll I'll show you just one more time because, I'll because uh, these guys actually have a pattern. And there's a I'll, I'll also show you how to like to beat this mission. Um, one of these two have the special ability, uh, to just go straight to the front door of the entire of the entire thing. And they just stay there. Oh, and those are mines. <laughs> so yeah. What you have to do is you have to wait for them right here. I'll just show you how, how to do it, but then I'll just... And you have to trap them, like this. And every single time someone else comes, just got to just got to do that. Oh, but it it works a lot better with them um It works a lot better with um with a satellite cannon. But basically that's what you have to do. And and the second guy, you know the second guy is standing right there, he will not go past the first guy's position. So I've had enough of I've had enough of that bullshit. And let's see, what else is there? Oh, there's really nothing else besides like I'm um, besides I'm uh, basically shooting things and and you're and you're shooting them on, and you're trying to get get them on. Um, oh, there's also my special delivery. Let me show you special delivery right quickly. This this is a mission, people. And you basically, and, and as you can, at the same time, this is going to be. Extremely funny because you basically these legs are shit. By the way, do not use them later on. But basically, you're just delivering a damn a goddamn message. That's what you're doing. Oh, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay. Wow. Wow, another bug. Another bug. Wow, that, that's the second bug today. Uh, you're supposed to go onto this section and it'll give you another set of, set of instructions. Let me see if I can just go. If I can just bypass to the other, but I think that might be a bug. That might be another bug. Yeah, this is this is a bug. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not um, um recognizing that I'm on uh, that I'm on the plate. And no, you don't need to clear out this entire this entire section in order to activate it. But yeah, this is another bug. <laughs> So yeah, that's a uh, basically you uh, basically you um, uh, just deliver messages. <sighs> yeah, it's dumb. Let's see. I have to go back and see how much how many times I said this is dumb about this game. All right, let me just go ahead and uh, you already saw a new wind, and you know how how BS it is because it's an escort mission. So, 
let me uh, go ahead and show you guys the other side. This is hero creation. And and you get to play as another new character. And yes, in order to and yes, in order to um, in order to um, um get the S rank everything at the S rank all of this too. And you want to know what this is? You go through the entire damn story another time with different with slightly different dialogue. Uh, you see all this? This is this is uh, this is all exactly the same. The only thing that you'll <clears throat> that you'll see as different is this. Are these con is conflict? Let's see. Uh, the uninvited trio conflict and hero creation. And what happened is is that is that the um, he, uh, I'll see if I can get something sim simple. I'm not sure. Um, but basically, this is the this is the story of how a little girl becomes an edge lord. Basically, see, let me read right here. The hero creation project reaches its final stage. Your last objective: defeat Rix and prove you are the new hero, Charlotte. Basically, basically, you fight the first your first version of yourself. Basically. Let me go ahead and just show you guys this. This is our Taylor Carpals, basically, and, and as you can see, like and that's the same um, woman as the um, um, as you saw in the Operation Tokyo. And this is this is basically years later, and um, she decides to go ahead and make a program to copy your skills from the first game and make a new type of hero. And like it's kind of like some some kind of Metal Gear Two Sons of Liberty type deal. Like they're trying, like it's all a simulation to try to create another Solid Snake using Raiden, but now it's like a little girl. <laughs> so it's so it's extremely. Uh, I would appreciate this if it was a little bit different, like like Metal Gear Solid Two Sons of Liberty. But this literally has you going through the same goddamn missions as you did before, with almost zero change, and it's boring. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> this is you! <laughs> I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Oh, and she just starts getting darker and darker throughout the entire throughout the entire uh, period. Like this is her final form. Like she is. Look how edgy she is. And like um, undertake secret missions, power flare. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, and what? Oh, oh, oh! I should have also mentioned like er they had everything the same, but everyone had like yellow eyes, and that was because everyone was android. <laughs> Everyone was androids. Oh, and this is the original version of you, by the way. When you first started, this is how you looked. The Edge Lord is what you become. And this is what you are right now, but they like have little flashbacks of what you looked like originally before they did all that stuff to you because they gave you medicine and all that kind of stuff. And this is the new Colonel. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you probably don't recognize any of these guys. But, like... Oh, and that's the uh, girl, the stupid girl you had to had to protect. Oh, and let's see if this is, this is who I think it is. <laughs> this is you, by the way. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> this is you from the first game, like for the first from, from Operation Tokyo. Look at that. Look at that! <laughs> so that's the original. Oh look, it's how smug. Blah 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 blah. We'll get Lich. <laughs> I, I can't believe how young look Rick's looks. By the way, like like he looks like in his twenties, while everyone else looks like they're in their like in their they're in their thirties or so. 
and it's been 10 years. So basically, you conquered the world when you were the same age as Charlotte, probably. When you were the same age, you're probably a little kid when you did Operation Tokyo. Think about that. <laughs> oh, and oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> now, now you just saw side by side how like how much he changed during this entire thing. There's a middle, there's a middle stage, but this is basically the final version. Oh, yeah. By the way, you have to destroy them all. And in this one, same tactic. Oh wait. <laughs> This is the second easiest mission you have to do. Yeah, and if you, this is, there's a reason why I call this our terror car falls because it basically is. And it has almost zero challenge at all. I'm not even boosting anymore. Oh look, and she's dead. <laughs> This is the climax of this game. Oh, and I'll show you like the epilogue and then I'm probably gonna be done. Oh wow, he literally walked right into that one. Yeah, you basically kill everyone, basically. Oh, oh no. Oh, you can't tell, like the... Your original, he's using a satellite cannon. That's why you don't want him to be in your screen. Yeah, you can you guys can see how much I'm struggling on the final boss of this thing. Oh wow. Oh, now it's just me versus me. Yeah, and you gotta be a little bit tricky. You have to be a little bit um, um careful because he can he can stun you and then he can and then he can like like hit you with a satellite cannon extremely fast. Oh, and this is the best exchange in the game. Look at this. Oh wait. Oh, I thought I thought you said nothing. Oh. Well, damn. <laughs> well, shit. Never mind. Okay. Also, I I hope that no girl ever has to say this to himself. Have you completely become Rick's now? Oh, wow. This is so stupid. <laughs> and I also S ranked that one too. So I'm not, not that hard at all. So I'm going to show you one more, one last thing for this episode. Um, I'm going to show you the epilogue. This is the final thing you do. This is basically a, um, um a glorified, um, Cutscene, basically, because they don't they don't have any cutscenes, so you had to play through all of them. Blah 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 blah. Basically, she got fired, and uh, she, and for some reason, all of your old group is still alive, so she joined them. Ain't that stupid? Yeah. For the Pinon network. Apparently there's mercenaries now. Oh Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> oh man. I don't think you guys care about this. I don't care. But basically, this is the... Yeah, this is the final area. And uh... And as you can see, it's not new. 
It's just an old place with with people in it. Yeah. Basically, they're talking about like how 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 they're surprised that you joined despite beating the shit out of all of them at the same time. And all that crap. Yeah. Basically they're saying like how much you've grown. I can't believe that you're that you're actually a splitting image of the original. All that kind of stuff. Ooh man. Oh man, I'm an old fart. I can't do nothing but drink and smell guff gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. And this is the final area. Oh see see this is what I was talking about. She does that little, that little uh, messes up your name on purpose crap. Oh, by the way, the final boss is uh, Raphael, by the way. And basically, this is they're gearing you up for saying like, oh, by this is the epilogue, this is the final battle, this is gonna be it. And here's Ed's Lord us in the first game, still not saying one fucking word. And oh, this was the this was the conversation I thought was awesome, because like he didn't say nothing, you didn't say nothing. <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus Christ! I I I forget how edgy this little girl's girl becomes. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I'm just oh wait, and you can't tell. This is your gonna be your mech from the first from your first part. So that's my pure Languista right there. With his with his weapons on that kind of stuff. With purple weapons for some reason. That is just disgusting. But yeah. You can come down here, and that's the end of it. You can shoot! But look! You can't do nothing. This is the worst ending ever. Who defeat? Oh, the nightmare! Nightmare was the final boss in the original one. Oh, I didn't show you this arena in the original um, boss fight. That's uh, that's um, um, an oversight, but whatever. I'll I'll show you in the hero creation because it's the same thing. Um, amateur by musing, blah blah blah. He wants to create. They want to create heroes. Oh my God! The dialogue is horrible. An operation. Uh, Human and a rage, partial. The shining golden Raphael, commander of all rage. Literally, super archangel bipedal pulverizer. Oh my God! I just re this entire game's enemies are all pulverizers. <laughs> I just realized that. Victory for humanity, man. Hey, you get a free S rank for doing this. And yes, um, that is it. That is the entire end of that whole entire thing. Oh, now I might as well just show you the final, 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 the the third final boss. This is the final boss of the original. And and see in the see what I was talking about in hero creation. They all have yellow eyes because like they're androids and they're and this is a simulation. And sorry. It's, Good thing I did this, cause this is the this is the mid edge edge uh, hero creation girl. Um, uh, like like she has like a little bit, a little bit of, of the orange eyes, but she's still dumb. See, see, and now that's normal. <laughs> Let's see. Starting to mention up. Please destroy the nightmare. Am I going to disappear after all this? And. And I might as well just show you this. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm going to beat it. I could. If I. If you want to see it beaten, I. I can just go back to the original. Yeah, and this is your. This is your entire. <clears throat> this is your entire strategy. And this is. And this is when the my whole entire. Oh, and and you see what what that um, uh, mech's using? That's the um, uh, overdrive. I still don't know what the hell it does. Mm. 
Nah. See how great this game is, guys. How great the artificial intelligence is. How great the artwork is. Just a, a the pinnacle. Oh, and this is the second one. Oh wow, this is the full edge lord now. <laughs> and and this one is the one with the dang um, um satellite cannon thing. And you just have to keep going until you get until you can uh, sucker them into the This is the one this is the probably the second hardest one to not use um, um little um, um This is the second the hardest one not to use the use them uh, things on the repair kits. But see like see like on that damage like it's kinda like Master Yeek. Master Yeek can't be slowed, can't be slowed. <coughs> you really need fast legs for this game. And already and I already took out the other guy. So it's just the middle edge lord. And you do not want to uh, stay in one place with him because he also has a satellite cannon. Don't you see it right there? Uh oh. Shit, I almost got hit. <laughs> if you get hit you die by the way. So wow, this is going very well. And you can shoot it off two times at a two times in a row. You probably won't be able to do it to a mom. Um, also, I've used them um, uh, too many repair kits already. You just have to do this. You have to be extremely lucky. And that's the end boss of the original line. Into the simulations. All right. Uh, and congratulations! This ends my role. Hope you guys enjoyed this entertaining game as I have. As I have. And yeah, as I say, you use too many, too many repair kits. You get to see. So um, thank you very much, everybody. See you next time.